In this video, we're going to be showing you how to properly change a grease cartridge in a grease gun to prevent an airlock, and if you do get an airlock, how to properly get rid of it. There's three big tips in this video, and the first one is do not run your grease guns out of grease. The amount of rod extension out the bottom of your grease gun will tell you how much grease is left. If it starts getting to where there's no extension, it's time to change the grease cartridge. So I'm using this cat branded pistol grip grease gun here. I have the ex extra hose that's twice as long, I have the lock and lube, just a couple things that make greasing a lot easier. And over the years, I've had real problems with getting air locks in my grease cartridge, real pain in the butt. Now you can see the grease cartridge is almost empty. There's probably half an inch of travel there, which means there's only about half an inch left of the grease cartridge. So now is a perfect time to change it. You do not want to run it out. Now we're gonna be changing out with the same style grease. I use this Cat Extreme Applications 2 grease, which is 13.7 ounces. And there's almost always an air pocket at the top. Remember that grease is sold by weight, not by volume. So even though you're like, hey, uh, you know, they didn't give me my full cartridge of grease. Well, they did give you 13.7 ounces. It's just, that's not the entire container. It's sold by weight. So I'm doing a real grease cartridge change here. And the first thing you need to do is unscrew it. Probably about one full turn, maybe one and a half turns. Till the point that the plunger rod is able to move. Once it's able to move, you are going to fully extract it and then lock it to the side. Then you can unthread the grease tube holder from the grease gun. And the best place to do this typically is over a trash can because you're gonna be disposing of this. Then all you do is reinsert the plunger rod and it'll push your old grease cartridge out. Now you can see there's still some grease in there because we did not wait to it to be fully empty. And now we're gonna install our grease cartridge. Now here's the first mistake I see a lot of people make. They just try to push it on like this way and then it pushes the rod out the bottom. You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is pull that rod back out and then lock it to the side. That'll make a lot, it'll make it a lot easier and not make a mess. And then I always insert it upside down. And the way you do that is because you wanna keep that air pocket on the top when you go to purge it out. Now you take your pop top off and you can take it off now. Remember that the cartridge is not under any pressure from the plunger spring because it's locked. Remember that air pocket stuck right there. So now you can go ahead and install this into the grease gun and fully seat it until it's tight. And remember, the grease gun, you don't have to tighten it with any tools or anything. Hand tight is tight enough. So once it is fully seated, now here is the best way to get rid of this air pocket. The plunger shaft travels freely through the plunger. And while it is somewhat sealed, it's not airtight. So the plunger is under some pressure. And if you move the plunger shaft up and down and move it around a little bit, it should have enough spring force to push that air pocket out around the plunger shaft here. It works really well. Just spend this extra 30 seconds. It'll save you a lot of time instead of being under a truck or a piece of equipment and getting in a big air pocket and then going nuts. So now you're really ready to go. And so if we didn't run it out of grease, it should push grease fine. Now let's say you either skip this step or you're watching this video because you have a grease gun that is airlocked. Well, here's a trick. See, let's say it's airlocked. You're pumping, nothing's happening. There are two ways to purge the grease gun now. There's the, un, there's the pipe thread style there, or there's a one-way check valve that's better for air purging. And the spring plunger, or the plunger that the spring rides under, isn't very strong. So it's hard to force air out if you do get an airlock. But the shaft can actually be made to force that plunger up. It'll lock. If you fully extend it out and rotate it, it'll actually lock under the plunger. And then you'll be able to force grease out of that air purge. So what I usually do is I'll, I'll lock it and then force it on the ground and then hit that one-way check valve. And if there is air in the grease housing on top, it'll force it out. So what I'm doing here is I'm pushing it against the side of the trash can. It's putting a lot more force on it than the spring does. And you can see it's actually pushing a good amount of grease out of that little one-way check valve. If there was air there, it would force it out. Once it's forced out, then all you have to do is pop your plunger rod back in. So that's pretty much it. Don't run it out of grease. 
install the cartridge upside down and then purge the air out that way. If you do get an airlock grease gun, do what I just showed you. Alrighty, thanks for watching.